Welcome back. Early voting is right around the corner in our conversation about politics with friends and family members, even people on social media. Well, it can get heated here to talk about politics at the dinner table and keeping the peace and your composure in our relationships during this presidential election, especially is Dr. Melanie Ross Mills. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I've got a lot of questions for you, but let's start with what if you don't agree with your family's viewpoints? about politics when you're at the dinner table? It's okay to disagree, but I encourage people to try to maintain and contain so that they can maintain. So it's all right to disagree. It's great to have opinions. That's healthy, that's important. But at the same time, let's respect one another as people, as family members. Let's remember that we're called to love them right first. And then it's okay to have mature conversations. No, I totally understand that. But how do you kind of get out your point and explain how you feel without it reaching a level 10? Oh, especially right now, right? So I think it's important to say, am I in this to win an argument or am I in this to actually have a dialogue and a discussion? And so if we're in to win the argument, let's just stop there and pause and maybe get up and get some more food from the kitchen because we're not gonna make any headway, we're not gonna make any progress when we're not both open to receiving and understanding and seeking to connect and bond. So here's a good one. What if you're dating someone that's on the opposite end politically from yourself? Run, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's okay to be on the opposite end, but I do encourage people to figure out what their non-negotiables are. So there's some things that are in keeping with our value systems that me, we might really find important to have the same page. But it's okay if we disagree on some things as well. And so it's good to actually have dialogue and opinions. We all need opinions, right? We don't stand for something, we fall for everything. But at the same time, we'll have our non-negotiables that might be deal breakers for us in dating. Mm. Uh, Dr. Mel, in the age of social media, I guess this matters, but what do you do if a friend unfriends you on social media because you have a different viewpoint politically. Well, and we see that happening, don't we? I do. I see that happening all around me. And I think it's important to look at whether or not, have I offended this person? Is there something I need to do on my end? Do I need to go and ask for forgiveness for something unrelated to me just having opinions? But at the other time, we also need to think about, we literally are all in this together and it's okay to have differing opinions. And so why do we need to unfriend someone just because we're not on the same page when we all have the same basic needs for love, significance, and security, right? It's okay to disagree. Yeah, I believe that. But we know some people have some issues with that. But you made some great points, <laughs> Dr. Mel. Um, I want people to get your information in case they want to get in touch with you. I would love that. On Instagram, I'm at Dr. Melanie R. Mills, and my website is melanierossmills.com. And I would love to continue the dialogue. So feel free to reach out to me. Yes, let's continue the dialogue, get you the help you need to keep your composure because the holidays are coming up. A lot of maybe holiday dinners, that conversation yes. is gonna be, will be there. Thank you, Dr. Mills. Yes. Thanks for joining us.